hello and welcome back to another vlogmas video um, I'm a bit late starting this day, it's about half one I'm just about to go and make a cup of tea but I just thought I'd bob on and say hi hello, how are you doing? Um, just been confirmed everybody apart from one person has replied to me to say that they have sent and received a secret Santa present because um, we're opening them tomorrow I can't believe it's tomorrow but that seems to have come around really quickly um, from when I to say I think it was 12 days when I got my present till I could open it maybe I miscounted the days I don't know um, but <clears throat> I was going to say this morning we had a sudden panic that we'd not bought our manager a present um, if we were in the office we'd obviously do a collection and get him something so I sent an email out saying, hi, please can I have some more money off you? Um, and everybody apart from about three, about half the people have paid me. So I've ordered him some craft beer in a box. I don't drink anything like that, so I don't know if it'll be any good. But it comes with some nuts and a glass and a pair of socks. And including postage, it was 26 45 which I didn't think was too bad. Um, we should get 24 quid in the collection. So it's a little bit over. But do you know what? Everything is like really marked up. And um, it was 3.50 delivery but it's next day delivery. So I kind of don't mind that. That was the only postage option they had. Um, I'm not asking anyone for any more money. I'll just cover that postage myself. Um, but yeah, it was suddenly, I did think about it last week and then, because I'd, I'd been asking people for birthday collection, I'd been hounding them saying, don't forget about your secret Santa. Now if everyone had replied to me saying, <coughs> they'd sent or received, I wouldn't have had to keep reminding them. Oh, I'm fine. Well, that was the least interesting phone call of the day. Um, Hi, this is Amazon Prime. Thank you so much for renewing your membership. Alrighty then. Right, I'm going to make that cup of tea. I actually think I'm going to try the gingerbread tea out of our work present. Um, I tried, did I tell you? I tried the mince pie fudge. And I've never been a big fan of fudge. It's not something I would ever buy myself. And it was alright. It didn't... I suppose it was tasted like cinnamon and sugar. It was alright. I wouldn't have it again. Um, and I tried the half the shortbread cookie. Um, but the shortbread cookie was soft but the bag that it was in it was all fancily wrapped but it was open at the top edge so I think it just wasn't the best and I didn't like the icing on it um, it was like a really thick layer of fondant icing so I did eat it but I peeled it off and didn't eat it with the cookie um, but then I could only eat half the cookie I have saved it and I've wrapped it in tin foil and I was thinking about putting it in the oven um, and hasten it up. So these are the tea bags Shibui leaf tea, gingerbread, herbal tea infusion, leaf pyramids, um, cinnamon, ginger, licorice root, apple, roasted chicory root, arrow seed, clove buds, cardamom seeds. Now, I don't like a lot. So, this is what the actual tea bag looks like. that happen to you as well right <clears throat> right taste test time initially the smell is like gingerbread cinnamon cookies like the Dutch the Dutch kind um, if you don't know my, what I mean by that I will show you a picture because um, we've got some in the cupboard but the more you inhale it, <clears throat> if you take just a little, it smells like gingerbread cookie, but if you keep sniffing, you get the clove <clears throat> and the licorice, which are the two main things that I hate. It smells so really hot. I 
I don't think I like it. <clears throat> right, it's still burning hot. I'm going to let it cool. And maybe I left it too long. I don't know. Um, maybe it needs a sweetener. I don't normally put sweetener in tea. That's inspiring because I do love flavoured teas. We'll, we'll reevaluate in a bit. I don't remember if I showed you this or not, but I've moved my lamp up onto this shelf. I'm a little bit scared about it. But I've took the wire around there and I've ordered some cable. Um, I'm going to do a bath bomb. So it's the 15th, so I can open the 8th. I like it. It smells good. Mr. Snowman bath bomb. Ooh, yay. Four left. And I've just brought up the legs of my Christmas tree. So I'm going to put that up later. And I painted my nails a gold an essie, essie, not essie, essence, um, gold colour. I really like it. Just don't know how long it'll last. morning it's wednesday the 16th and it's my friday and um, i've got the next two days off uh, 10 to 10 cowboy time and we're about to do our secret santa so i just wanted to quickly say morning and the next clip will probably be um speeded up but i've got this giant box I don't think my present is as big as this box, um, but I guess we'll find out in the next half.
that was good. The camera stopped recording, so I don't know if it filmed anything. Um, but I got bath bombs. I've had that one before, and it's really nice. Evening. I thought I'd come on and end uh, Wednesday's video um, or segment. I don't know what it'll be. Um, it's about half eleven, and I'm gonna go to bed. In other exciting news, it is I've changed my bed in, and I've actually put a different set on. Ever since I bought that, um, what colour is it? Mustard. My head's not. I don't do well with colours. Yeah, it's like yellowy mustardy colour. Um, bedding set. I just keep washing it and then putting the same one back on. <clears throat> and I've got loads of bedding set. And then this morning I was like, right, wash the bed in. And I actually got a different set out, which I know is not very exciting. But it's nice to have a change. Although I did, I don't know if I said last night, but I have ordered a Christmas duvet set, which is mustardy coloured. Um, although I've not had a confirmation email, I'm slightly concerned about that. But oh well. Um, I'm off work tomorrow and Friday, and. Um, I'm saying, yeah, I'm off work tomorrow and Friday, and we we are planning on going to Manchester City Centre, um, because I haven't done any Christmas shopping proper yet, but the weather is meant to be terrible, so we are thinking of um, going to the Trafford Centre. We're gonna just sort of see what time we're up and ready. According to Journey Planner from my tram stop to the Trafford Centre, you've got to change once and it's about an hour. Um, but I think it's about 4, 35, 40 minutes into the city centre, so it's not much longer. We'll just go and see what happens. And the other day I said I'd move my lamp to the shop. It's still up, it hasn't fallen off. Um, but I bought these cable tidy things and they're just double sided sticky tape and you just use them to sort of keep the cables in place so I'm going to use a couple of those and try and tame my cables um, just because the one that comes from the wall it's on a bit of an angle and I just feel like I might grab it in the night or something what is this? Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.